Welcome back to Cognition, Episode 1, The Hangman. Alright, so let's leave the graves. Um, so I want to investigate the crime scene, but I can't because it seems that I don't have control of my powers. And I keep seeing horrible visions when I try to examine the crime scene, so I'm going to go to the antique shop and talk to Rose and see if she can help me get control. As much as I hate Rose, I want her help. It pains me to say that, but I want her help. There you are, my dear. I'm not too thrilled about it, but yeah, here I am. So there's the completed... Uh, I don't remember how to pronounce it, La Pendu? La Pendu? Anyway. Hmm. So I'm thinking it looks like it might be some sort of a hangman type thing. Because I mean, it mm. has a person, it has a noose, it's got some letters, mm. and it has a keyhole too. I'm guessing that once I finish assembling the one that I have, that I'm going to have to solve it. So we'll see how that goes, but I think it's going to be a while until I do that. Hey, Rose. Yes, my dear? <laughs> so, why did you decide to open an antique shop? I'm good at finding the rare and the strange. That certainly makes me feel better. The things in this shop are wonderful trinkets, full of mysticism and meaning. If you like something, you just have to ask. I've had the time to think about last night about this thing of mine. Your vision, you mean? <laughs> How do you know about that? Many of my customers ask the same questions. You do not believe in the crystal ball, neither do some of them. Sometimes we mock what most haunts us. All right, I'm getting tired of this runaround. If you want me to be upfront with you, why don't we start by you telling me what you know, and then we can take it from there. Very well. What do you want to know? Um, everything? Until a few days ago, I seemed to have some control of it. But now, it's just... It's very painful now when I try to use it. Sometimes I see myself... Things that haven't happened to me. Hmm. Is that bad? No. But... I wonder, why is it happening? Before, you always saw the past? Yes. Maybe you are evolving. What? If you can see the past in ways no one else can, is it so strange that you should start seeing the future as well? That would be amazing. Has something happened to you recently? Something upsetting? My boss closed a case that I wasn't ready to close. Let us put this vision of yourself aside for now. Let us focus on your ability to see the past. Are you ready for some training with Mama Rose? Mama Rose? Oh my god. Well, I guess I am. I guess I have to. How do I do it, though? I guess I'll just do the other dialogue options and see where it leads me. What do you know about this stuff? You remind me of myself. I used to be as inquisitive as you are. I wanted to know it all, the very last detail of everything. And sometimes I asked more than maybe I should have. But I don't regret my life or the places it took me. This store here is living proof of where I've been and who I am. Are you going to answer my question? You are what some people call a scion. A what? A scion. Listen, I'm telling you what you want to know, but in return, I'm going to have to ask you to let go a wee bit, to hear the stories, to let me help. If you won't let me help, there's nothing I can do. I feel really uncomfortable talking about my visions. You have been using them, have you not? I have, but... 
So what is the big deal? This is something that you have. Embrace it fully because it is a part of you and it will not go away. All right, let's get some training from Mama Rose. Oh God, I don't have to call her that, do I? I'm ready. Very well. Tell me how you use your power. I, I touch something and it happens. Good. You are not afraid to use this power to your advantage. <laughs> that doesn't make me feel like less of a freak. It is an amazing gift, my dear. Never forget that. Now I'm going to teach you a neat trick. I like to call this projection. With it, you will be able to extract the memories from a place to see the events from the time you wish. Places have memories? There's energy everywhere, my dear. When you learn how to tap onto it, well, there will be no one that can hide a secret from you. Now, we probably shouldn't be doing this, but what the heck? It'll be more interesting for you. Your friend Jean came here a long while ago. I want you to go back to one of the days he was here. For that, we're going to need something from him, a very personal item he holds on to all the time. The rest we will find here. So you want me to go get something personal from him? Something he would have carried three years ago. Won't this be fun? Yes, my dear. Why did I have to lay down on the couch? If she was just talking to me, I didn't even do anything. Anyway, all right, what the hell would he have had on him three years ago? What is it that I need from John? Something personal. Something he would have carried three years ago. All right. I'm gonna get going. <clears throat> Goodbye, my dear. Look at how old those things are. They're so old, it's almost like they're antiques. There's a donut box? Oh, maybe I can get a present for... Uh, what's my partner's name? Oh god, I'm getting the names mixed up. John, John. Is John my partner's name or is that my brother's name? Scott. I think Scott's the brother, John's my partner. Yeah, I can't remember. Nice lamp. <laughs> Crystal ball. I can't believe there are some people that believe this crap. Then again, I wouldn't believe what I can do either. I can't believe there are some people that believe... All right, let's take a look at this donut box. These donuts look tasty. John would be all over them. Okay, John, so that is my partner's name. C can I just take them? <laughs> can I just steal the donuts from the antique shop? When Rose isn't looking? Is something happening? Oh. Can I take okay? one? Do me a favor, child and take all of them. They're going to go to waste, and I hate throwing food away. Do you always have donuts for your customers? They used to love them, been doing it for years. But now, they're not as popular anymore. Makes me sad. Did she just shove a box of donuts down her shirt? I think she did. That's a new power. Now she doesn't only have cognition, but she has the ability to compress objects. Well, let's go talk to John. Give him the donuts and see if I can manage to get something he would have had on him three years ago? I don't know. Maybe his old cell phone or something? Alright, um, downtown? I really like the map music. Beow, beow. 
Okay, that sounded silly, but seriously, it does actually sound really nice. It's groovy. It makes driving to different locations cool. I'm actually thinking of buying the soundtrack for this game. Actually, before I give all these donuts to John, let's see if Gwen wants some. That won't work there. All right, I guess she's on a diet. I don't have a reason to do that now. What? I. I... He just talked about how he wanted donuts. You're telling me I can't give him donuts right now? Why? I don't have a reason to do that now. Can I give them to him through dialogue? McCoy? Red? Okay, what the hell am I going to do with these donuts? Hmm. You keep a copy of Davy's office keys, no? Why? She sent me an email mentioning something about strange things she's been receiving in the past few days. So I figured that since she isn't here... You just sneak into her office and look around? Oh, come on, John. I don't have time to stand around until she comes back. Even if I didn't think that was a stupid idea, you're out of luck. I lost those keys. And don't tell anyone either. Good job, John. Always a professional. Has Sully said anything about me? Look, I'm not good at this lovey-dovey shit, but we were Joey's the other night, throwing him back, and the kid opened up. He's confused. Oh, I don't blame him. I have fun when I'm with him, it's just... I feel like I'm cheating. You mean because of... You know. It's one thing when you touch a body and find details that help on a crime scene, but when someone holds your hand and you see him looking at penthouse magazines and... Don't all guys do that? It's not that. I feel intrusive. If I find things that I don't like later, too bad. But I want to get there at my own pace. <laughs> I don't want to know his parents before I even have the chance to feel it's going too fast when he asks me to meet him. Man, I don't know what it'd be of me if every time I kiss my ex-wife I saw my mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> That's on a good day. Oh, you know, I hadn't even thought about how her uncontrolled abilities would affect her relationships with people. That would be hard to deal with. How's the case going? It's going. Well, you know what to do. Put your clues together, go back to the crime scene, pay a visit to Dr. Gallagher, see what surfaces. I'm going to go back to my work. Go get him, Red. Please don't call me Red. And can I please give you these donuts now? I don't have a reason to do that now. <sighs> the guy doesn't go anywhere without that thing. A present from his dad or something like that. You don't say. And how long has he had it for? John, can I borrow your lighter? Red, no one touches the lighter but me. Yeah, but it would really help me out. No. All right, John. I followed your advice yesterday, went to see Rose, sucked it up, and cooperated. Now I need your lighter so that Rose can help me, and you are going to let me borrow it. Damn! You put it like that. Fine, take it. Thank you, John. I'll bring it back. You better. You must really like that lighter. All right, let's go pay a visit back to Rose. You know, I think the donuts that are stuffed in my shirt are starting to get a little bit sweaty with all this running around.
Hello, Rose. Hello, my dear. Hello, goodbye. I'm gonna get going. Goodbye, my dear. <laughs> okay, so apparently I don't activate it through dialogue. I probably activate it by using the lighter on her. Right? Yep. I found what we need. John never lets go of this. This is perfect. I will leave this here. Now, let us start with this object alone. Close your eyes. Okay. I want you to picture every item in this place as if they were people, as if they had minds that contain memories. Concentrate on this room and this room only. I just, I don't. Concentrate. I'm trying, but. Oh, apparently I've received a new power. You've now received the power of projection. Click on the cognition sphere to start. All right, how does this, oh. Whoa. Whoa. What's happening? What can you see? I can see this room, but I can... It's hard to explain. I see things that... Concentrate on those things. Now I want you to separate them and break them apart, one by one. I want you to single out the memories that were attached to Jean when he was here. How the hell do I do that? You will, with a bit of help from me. Your friend always sat by the crystal ball table, and there is a particular place in here he'd love to hang around. <laughs> but you probably know what that is. For this to work, you need to focus on three things. The last being this item you brought from him. Focus on them. All right, so I have to select three objects from the screen and then press your cognition sphere to finish the process. If I don't have all of the right objects, the screen will flash red. <clears throat> if you need clues, exit cognition mode by pressing the X N and look at your surroundings. All right. So I'm supposed to end with a lighter. I know he used to be around the crystal ball, so that's one. So what would be the other thing that he used to hang around? I don't know. Let's get some clues. Oh, I need a minute to look at my surroundings. Tell me when you are ready again, my dear. This is where Rose places her donuts. John would be all over them. Yeah, if she's been doing that for a long time, which it sounds like she has, then that would have to be it. He loves donuts, so he probably ate those donuts. So that's got to be the other one. Concentrate on three things. So, crystal ball and donut table and the lighter. John? Come on, child. Don't be scared. If you're seeing him, he's not fully real, but you can still interact with him in a way. Sometimes that's what you do with these projections. Fill in the holes, you know? Other times, just seeing them will be enough for your goal. This is, as much as I hate to say it, this is pretty cool. Use it well and never be afraid of it. Thank you, Rose. You have now mastered projection. When usable, you'll be able to select a different object from the environment before you can focus your powers. Let's see. Okay, sometimes you can aid your environment by adding items to it so that you have the necessary requirements to perform the ability. Okay, okay. So I might need to put relevant objects in the environment to get it to work? Alright, that makes sense. So now that I have this training, does that mean I can go back to the crime scene? Let's give it a shot. Hopefully I won't see nasty visions anymore. Talk to me, my dear. Let those nasty demons out. <sighs> Alice left me, but it's good. I mean, she could be finally be happy. 
She's gone to her sisters. They're living in their expensive McMansion. Ah, oh, Christ, I don't know how to be myself anymore. You know, the, the fat guy that eats the donuts and solves the case at the end of the day. Now I'm just going through the motions. But there are always demons that bite us and chew us and take our peace with the world away. But the human heart is big and noble, and yours is also kind and gentle. And it is in that strong heart of yours where you can always find yourself. There is this girl in the office. I was lucky to train her a couple of years back. Bright, smart, sharp, <laughs> kicks like a man, shoots better than any of the old farts in the station. Got it from her father. He was a captain of the BPD. Always made our lives easier. I knew her brother, too. Scott. Not made of the same stuff as Erica, but, but still a cool kid. Last month, we lost him to a piece of shit murderer. The things that life gives us and the things that life takes from us, we have no control over those. We do with them what we can. Ah, bullshit! Scott should still be alive today. That kid didn't have to pay for our crap. He didn't deserve it, and neither did she. I was dumb to think I could pretend it was all fine. I guess it had to happen to her for it to hit me. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? I can tell you a thing or two about demons. How to face them, how to fight them. I've gotten people that have hit rock bottom to stand up firm and walk again. But this demon of yours, I cannot tell you what to do with it. That is up to you. I am sorry, my dear. So am I. So am I. Let's try this again. Okay, so I think the green ones are for projection and the blue ones are for cognition. Is that it? left a message here. How can I look at it? I can only see a couple words. Uh, well, that was kind of bugged. Things that I'm your something? The killer left a... Anyway, uh, can I go on the roof The roof now? is a dead end. I don't nope. need... Alright. So... Yeah, maybe if I get three things related, uh, connected to the guy who died here, I can ask him about what was on that wall. So, let's, let's try blood, the noose, and the table. There we go. Bingo. Hey. How you doing? If I could only see what you saw. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Mm, what if I do this now? Is it going to be any different? Well, now I have 
the spectral version of the victim's body. I don't know what I can do with that. They left the noose here? Terence is getting sloppy. I never thought I was going to be able to hold a vision for so long. Rose does know a thing or two. These visions of mine feel almost like the real thing. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything I can do. I've already looked at that. I've already summoned him, but he's dead. The pipes go to other areas of the building. I'm not sure what's in this barrel, but it was here prior to the murder. The stuff on this shelf has been gathering cobwebs for a while. Some cleaning tools, not important to the case. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do at this point. Is there something I can use on him? Here, maybe he wants a box of donuts. No, I, I can't even use items on him. Hmm, I know it said I can put items down, but what would I... What would I even put down? I don't know. I think I just need to come back here later. Oh, you know what? Um, I think I should go back to the station and search the database using the information I have. To maybe try and figure out who the victim is. Yeah, let's do that. And let's try to break into my boss's office. Because that sounds like fun. Alright, hopefully no one will notice me completely out in the open, picking the boss's office. <laughs> no one's looking this way. I'm an ace at picking locks. Wow, she's picking it without even looking? Skills MLG lockpick. Davies will be wicked pissed at me when she finds out I broke in, but whatever. I got a case to solve. Davies' promotions. I liked her more when she was one of us. We don't always see eye to eye on things, but she's still a good friend of the family. This is called a tropic snow. I know because, believe it or not, Davies talks about it. She talks about her plant? How exciting. I don't know, maybe it's a really expensive and rare variety. It actually could be interesting. Maybe it's a fascinating plant. But somehow I doubt it. <laughs> That's Davy's favorite mug. She's always carrying it around. Especially when she interrogates people. She named it Phoebe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I shoot her mug? Fuck her mug. Damn, I can't. Information on some of our latest cases. I think she needs a bigger whiteboard. Should I go through her stuff? Oh, man. You've already broken into her office. Who cares? Say goodbye to your badge, Erica. Aww. That's from Davy's niece. How cute. 
Davies loves that child to pieces. It's probably the only thing she loves. Because she's an asshole to everyone else, seemingly. What's this? Another one will be hanged tonight. What did the rest of this say? Wait, is this one of the things she's been receiving? Uh, has she told anyone about this? It's kind of important. Kind of really important. What's this? Another one will be hanged tonight. What did the rest of this say? Yeah, I can't read the rest of that. Did I open any of the other drawers or just that one? Say goodbye to your bat. Mm, something tells me it's just the one drawer. Yep. Davies left the top off. Was she trying to get something from here? I, I don't know. Is there anything in it? Davies left the top off. Davies always liked that picture. She told me she pictures herself in that lighthouse every time she needs some time off from all the crazy shit we see. So she pictures when she wants to relax, she pictures pictures herself in a lighthouse on what looks to be a rocky coast and in a storm. That's relaxing? That doesn't sound relaxing. Not to me. Davy seemed wicked worried about this case. Maybe I can find more info on her computer. Oh crap. She's gonna skin me alive. Mm, don't I need her credentials? Or is she already logged in? Damn. What's the password? Yeah. <laughs> Stupid houseplant. So, I don't think her password's stupid houseplant. Okay, it's probably... Uh, it's probably Sammy. No. What could Davies have used as a password? Uh, maybe the name of her favorite mug? No. Could be the name of her favorite plant? No. Hmm. Not that, not that. Sure, let's just try them all. No. Well, it's certainly not her own name. And it's not stupid houseplant. Alright. There what we go. What do we have here? Interesting. Why does she keep this message? She deletes everything else. Terence, I sent you a piece of the antique that was sent to my office. If Reed comes by with the piece you say she found, make sure you get it from her. Call me right after. Hmm. Alright, so Terence has the... Wait, didn't I already talk to him? What did he say about that? He said something about it, but I can't remember if, whether he actually had it. He has to, though, because it doesn't seem to be in her office. Alright, and this is her wanting an IP tracked. So this is what she got sent in an email? He repented, will you? That's not good. Hmm. I don't have anything to tell him right now. Oh yeah, um, I was gonna try to send an email to... What's her name? Uh, Gallagher? <laughs> Can I actually do that? Can I actually send her an official email from Davy's computer? 
Looks like I'm going for a new record <laughs> on how many laws I can break today. That's Gallagher. awesome. I heard from Bulby that he's having problems with storing his equipment over there. Let him do what he needs. I need you to cooperate while the transition takes place. Davies. <laughs> Hope that sounds Davies enough. And sent. And delete. I'm not only walking into the lion's den here, I'm dancing the Lombardo with the freaking thing. No kidding, breaking into your off breaking into your boss's office using a lockpick. Going through her stuff. Um logging into her account and I guess falsely impersonating an FBI agent and sending an email from her computer. I don't even want to know how many laws I've just broken, but I'm guessing it's more than one. I can use my own computer for that. Better not push my luck here. Yeah, good point. I can use my own- Yep. Alright, I guess that's it. I sure hope Davies doesn't come back just as I'm leaving her door. She might find that suspicious. Just maybe. What if she does? I'll just say, um, I was watering her precious snow plant, or whatever it's called. Alright, did I miss anything? No, I don't think so. Actually, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I wonder if I can take a picture of that shredded note. Say goodbye to your back. I might need it for something. Uh, apparently not. Actually, I can't even interact with it. Alright, now, now let's see if we can find the victim's name. Okay. Are you hungry yet, Erica? Ugh. That looks so unappetizing. Nope. Alright. Uh, people search, I guess? Exactly what it says. A people search. I don't have anyone to search for right now. Well, that's not gonna work. I don't evidence? have any evidence to look at right now. Damn it. Uh, so I guess I can't find him using the pictures I have of his tattoo and stuff? Yeah, this is... What the hell can I search for here? It's pointless. Alright, any new emails? Uh, I guess I should. I guess I should go speak to Terence. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll go speak to Terence because now that I've solved his issue with the whole Labikuvin thing, he, I've scratched his back, so he should scratch mine now, right? Isn't that what he said? Let's go do it. Hopefully that third piece is the final piece to the La Pendu toy puzzle thing, whatever the hell it is.
Erica, <laughs> what did you do? What do you mean? Gallagher just came here all crazy and shit a second ago saying how there's no respect for her department. Now she can't wait to see the day when I'm finally out of here. <sighs> then she said I could store my stuff with her equipment. <laughs> crazy, huh? Well, I have my ways. Where's that antique piece you promised? Here you go. Thank you. Oh, let's see if he knows anything about reading graffiti. Maybe he's got some magic under his belt. I need to go all James Bond. <laughs> Biggie, you're the Bond, I'm the Q. What are your techie needs? At the crime scene, I found this graffiti that was recently painted. I want to see whatever it covered. I got just what you need. Take a look at this. Bada boom ding dang. It works like an ultraviolet light. Only, you can actually choose a color of light to cast, and it'll see through that color revealing whatever's behind it. You know, like those hint books from those old PC adventure games. Oh, that sounds pretty neat. Not only that, you can also use it as a projector. Just plug it into your computer and transfer an image to it. You'll be able to project that image onto anything. What would I do without you? You'd be in a cave, crying yourself to sleep. See you later. Alligator. Please never say that again, Terrence. This sounds wicked cool. It can help see through colors and also can project images. That does sound really cool. Does that sort of technology actually exist in the real world? All right, let's pay a visit to the crime scene and see what's beneath that graffiti. Or, I mean, see what the gra graffiti says beneath the paint. Because beneath the graffiti is wall. And that's not very interesting. Nope, oh, nope, wrong one. And before I do that, actually, let me combine that uh, piece, the other piece of the La Pendu. Where is it? There we go. Oh, whoops. Combine. I wonder how these go together. There we go. Now what? Um, I think the only thing that's missing now is the little wooden figurine. It's from something called a... a Le Pondu? Oh, Pondu. I've been saying Pendu. Le Pondu. Um, let's interact. Wait, can I interact with it? No, I can't. Alright, so I still need more pieces. I think just one more. Okay, let's use this device. I don't think I'm doing this the right way. I need to calibrate it to what I need. All right, let's take a look at this thing. I need to enter some sort of code here. Oh, well, that would be the code from, from the, uh, the can of green spray paint that I already wrote down. Okay, let's see. Yeah, GK4893. I knew that would come in handy. If your eyes could see what mine can't, what does that mean? I have no idea. Sounds like something crazy a serial killer would say. Like the cane killer, for example. Hmm. Well, I guess that's all I'm gonna get out of that. So this thing also projects images, huh? This sounds wicked cool. Yep. It can help see through colors, and also can project images. Hmm. 
Hmm. So, what? Could I conjure the person who spray painted this? If I do that and do the spray paint, what else? What would be the third item? What would be the third item that he interacted with? Uh, well, I guess he interacted with a table, or... Well, he had to put up the noose, right? Maybe? No, this is not nope. right. I need to choose the things that are related to what I want to see. What was important to what happened here last night? Well, I already know how to summon the victim. I did say I could. It did say I could put items down. And into the environment, like plant them and use them. So the only thing that's related to anything that happened here is this. Can I put it down? How do how do I even put it down? Where would I put it down? On the shelf, cleaning supplies. On the ladder? <laughs> no, I don't think I'm supposed to do that. Alright, well I guess I could just summon the spirit again. But that doesn't seem to help. His mouth is very dry from the hanging. Come on, tell me who you are. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do. Let's look at him look at him spray paint again. The killer left a message here. Hmm. I'm honestly not sure how to proceed from here. Like, it's not a case of not knowing how to solve a puzzle, but it's a case of not even knowing where the puzzle is. Like, am I even supposed to be doing anything here? I know what the message says. But it doesn't help me. Can I do a search on my phone of any sort? I keep forgetting there's stuff on the phone. Web search? What am I doing? Nope. That's not what I'm looking for. Okay, I want to know what the hell this is. What is this? This is such a good game. Oh, that's something... No time to play, unfortunately. And I just downloaded episode 5. <laughs> huh. Well, I could always message my dad. My tutorial dad. Or my hint dad. But... What am I supposed to do? I'm not sure where I'm even supposed to be. I've summoned the body, but it doesn't seem like I can do anything with it. It's from something called a... a Le Pondu? Hmm. I don't know, let me take one more look at the overhead map and maybe go back to the station and talk to John about the new evidence I just found. But if that doesn't pan out, then I'm just going to use the hint system and figure out what the heck I'm supposed to be doing. Alright, so cemetery, already been there. Antique shop, already been there. Crime scene, already been there. Yeah, I've already been to each location. It's weird that other locations keep popping up and then disappearing. Um... I don't think there's any point about talking about the body until probably tomorrow. So yeah, let's go back to go back to H 
HQ. Talk to John, I guess, and then probably use the hint system from there. Those two don't work together. Let's see if he wants the donuts yet. You getting hungry, John? I don't have a reason to do that now. Apparently not. Man, doesn't the FBI have some sort of a super advanced database where I could input someone's uh, a picture of their face and it could see if they can find a match? McCoy? Red? How's the case going? It's good. Well, you know what to do. Okay. I'm going to go back to my work. Go get him, Red. Well, that didn't work out too well. He said go talk to Dr. Gallagher and go check out the crime scene. I've done both. Can I really not figure out who he is? I have his photo and I have a tattoo. Is there really nothing in here to do anything with that? Okay, what about the projectile, uh, projecting an image? I don't see what the point of that would be, but can I, didn't he say you can hook it up to your computer? I don't have any evidence to look at right now. I don't have any evidence. Yeah, this is no good. Don't think any of these are new. Nope. Whoops. Okay, let's look at the hint system. Wait, is there... Wait, 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 hold on. Is there something I can do with the shredded paper? I mean, it seemed like there was something I was supposed to do, but... I, I couldn't interact with it. I literally could not even use items on it. Oh, shit! I totally forgot about intuition. Okay. Okay. Let's see if this works. Another one will be hanged tonight. When will you see the signs? I've left something for you at the post office on Milk Street. Maybe it'll open your eyes. Ask for Joey to help you. So when exactly was that sent? Another one will be hanged tonight. Is that the one that was just hanged? Say goodbye. So she shredded it. Why would she why would she shred that? That's evidence for a case. That is she trying to cover something up? 
I mean, that's just bizarre. What is she hiding? Alright. Well, I don't see how that helps me proceed unless now I can go to Milk Street to pick up the thing. Let me see if I can before I get another hint. There we go. Wait, this is a post office? It looks more like some sort of an insane mansion. My local post office certainly doesn't look like this, Jesus. Nice, but not my style. I don't even know what that is. This looks like a bunch of blobs. That wall's got all the post office boxes. People actually still use regular mail. In the latest statistics the department got, email usage outnumbered snail mail 80 to 1. But that was still 177 billion pieces of mail sent. What can I say? I'm a dork for statistics. I'd actually be surprised if it's only 80 to 1. I would think it would be more. Five counters and only two are manned. I guess we're not the only government institute hit by the recession. Five counters. All right, let's ask for, what was the name, Joey? His name tag says Joseph. I guess that's him. Hello there. I'm here to retrieve a package. Name please. Davies, Madison Davies. One second. Oh, uh, do you have your ID with you? Uh, oh. Where would I get her ID? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so I need her ID. Where would I get her ID? It wasn't in her office. So... What the hell can I do? Um... I mean, I could show him the wrong ID. <laughs> Let's see what that does. I'm Special Agent Erica Reed, FBI. I need that package. It may provide clues to an ongoing investigation. It was sent to my boss, and I'm here to retrieve it for her. Oh, uh... Sure. Why does it sound like he's given up on life? It's like, yeah, Thank sure. You. I'll get that package you know right who away. You sent the package? The package? Yes, this package. Um, uh, no, there, there's no sender info. Are you sure? Uh, well, just that it's postmarked from another Boston office. Sorry. If you find out anything else about it, please call this number. Uh, will do. <clears throat> uh, sorry. Sorry, Agent. <laughs> Jesus. I guess just like the United States Postal Service itself, its workers are half dead. Who could have left this for Davies? Well, open it up. What's inside? Please let it not be a severed finger. Hmm. This must be important. Another piece? What is it? Oh, that must go into the... Uh, the... the 
God damn it, how do you pronounce it? Pond Pondu? It's from something called a uh, Le Pondu. Le Pondu, okay. Or not? This is not going to work with this. I know the Le Pondu has a keyhole in it, but maybe I can't use that until I fully assembled it. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wait, what the hell is this? There's something more in it. I didn't this even see that. like pieces of the same picture. Who is this person? Can I assemble them? Here we go. Victim four? My what? My one? Next seven? She's six. Okay, can I move them? These look like pieces of the same picture. Who is this person? Can I assemble these? Or what? It doesn't seem like I can drag them. But if I'm not assembling them, then what am I doing? Do I just turn them all over? She's victim next. My? She's my next victim? What are those numbers, though? Uh, maybe those are a password for something, and that's the order they occur in. So, she's my next victim, so it's 6174. I'll write that down. 6174. It's weird that I can't assemble them, because usually when you have uh, pieces of a picture in an adventure game, you assemble them, and then look at look at the finished... Blech. I can't even talk. Usually you assemble them and look at the finished picture. So it's very strange that I can't. Alright. But what the hell is that a password to? I think I just need the wooden figurine for the Le Pondu. Hmm. See, can I use this key on that? No, I can't use anything on that. How do I leave? Where's the exit? There's the exit. <laughs> 